Hello everyone for this new session of Diplo Talk here from Geneva with Jovan Kobalia, director of Diplo Foundation. You all know Diplo Foundation. It has just produced this Geneva Digital Atlas, which is mapping the scene of internet governance and digital negotiation here in Geneva, Switzerland. But very soon, on the 18th and 19th November, Diplo Foundation will move to one of its headquarters in Malta for its 20th anniversary summit on the future of digital diplomacy. And that's going to be the subject of our discussion today. My very first question, Jovan, is you're going to convene experts, diplomats, and even the president of the Swiss Confederation, Ignacio Cassis, to Malta. What can we expect from this hybrid meeting? It will be first the, the first global gathering of tech, uh, digital, e-cyber diplomats. Second, it will be the event which will discuss future UN digital compact, which should be uh, adopted in two years' time. And third, it will be the gathering which will facilitate inclusion of the small and developing countries, especially from Africa, in digital diplomacy and governance. Currently, they are a missing actor. It has to be noted that the meeting, the summit in Malta will take place a few days before an important summit of the African Union in Addis Abeba. And at that time in Addis Abeba, Diplo Foundation will come up with another report, a striking report on Internet and Africa. We'll talk about it in the next session of Diplo Talk. But let us come back to the summit and the title of the summit. It has the words digital diplomacy in it. Is diplomacy still making an impact nowadays? We are currently living in the phase of the crisis of diplomacy. You have a conflict all over the world, and diplomacy has not been particularly successful in resolving these conflicts. Cities are destroyed, people are killed, and societies are disintegrating. But diplomacy is the only so solution only sustainable solution for uh, not only the uh, normal life, but our very survival. When Therefore, uh, whether it is digital or tech or meta diplomacy, ultimately it boils down to people's engagement to hear each other and to reach some sort of functional and fair compromise. This is where I wanted to come. Sorry, I interrupted you. I wanted to come on the content of digital diplomacy. So here in Diplo Foundation, you work on social media, internet governance, other subjects. Is technology bringing new results to diplomacy and improving the chance of diplomacy? The verdict is twofold. On one side, yes, we have more data. There is a use of artificial intelligence. We have a Zoom meetings, which can uh, facilitate more inclusion of people who were not previously in position to travel. On the other side, uh, technology could easily diminish the relevance of interpersonal aspect of diplomacy and outreaching and developing empathy with somebody sitting on the other side of the table and ultimately reaching the compromise. Therefore, this is the twofold impact on technology and diplomacy, positive and potentially negative. Folks, as American pre President Joe Biden used to say, keep in mind this date, 18, 19 November in Malta for Diplo Foundation 20th Anniversary Summit. And keep in mind also that if you come to Geneva and if you want to know about the internet, internet governance and digital negotiation, there is one tool available and the tool is this report, the Geneva Digital Atlas produced by Diplo Foundation. See you soon.